Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, our LTCS family. Uh, we're getting ready to start up our exhibition night here pretty soon, and we would love to have you guys come out. The weather's holding up. Um, there's no rain in the forecast. We got plenty of parking. Just remember, we have those special times to so find the different uh, schedules that we have posted, and we're going to get this live tour kicked off here right now. All right. So remember, you're going to start your tour by coming in through through your kindergarten hallway down here by the playground. As you come in, you will have all the different um, displays from kindergarten. So what they've done is they have looked at the five senses and imagine what Oz would be like by experiencing the five senses. So as you come down, make sure to check out how Oz would be interpreted by kindergartners through their five senses. There'll be some black lights on down this hallway. You'll see some different things on the walls. Make sure you have a touch and feel sensation. So that way, what, what does it feel like inside of Oz? And as they get closer to the Emerald City, they were starting to think, what would they ask the wizard for? So make sure to check out some of their writings right here. Okay? Now, the great Oz will be in, but don't worry, the Winkies are there to protect him. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll see me everywhere. And as you round the corner, you'll have a little bit of the first grade display going on. And they imagined what the geography of Oz would look like compared to the geography of the real world. So they looked at and imagined what Oz would look like. And they came up with their own map. Then they compared the real world geography. And as you can see, this is just our first graders. You'll see exactly how far away some of our scholars come to come to Liberty Tech. Now let's come on down. They even compared or looked at whether or not they want to live in Oz based on the story. So you'll see a Venn diagram of yes, maybe a no. So make sure to check out their writing. There'll be some docents available for you to talk to. Then working with Ms. Murphy, they imagine what their house would look like in watercolor. There's always no place like home though. Journey on down, make sure you follow this yellow brick road that we have throughout the entire school. It comes from kindergarten, wraps all the way down to the cafeteria, up through middle school, and out down by the steam and computer lab. Now you're in the second grade hallway. Second grade looked at the different characters and interpreted the book as the characters. So they actually looked at Glinda versus the Wicked Witch and you looked at the words that they chose to use inside of Oz. They looked at Dorothy, they looked at the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodsman, the Cowardly Lion. This is a really fantastic hallway. Make sure you check it out as you're coming through. There'll be, I think the last I heard, there's 22 docents just in second grade. Whew. So, it's going to be phenomenal. Partnering up with Steam, they reimagined what the Scarecrow and Tin Man would look like if they had to be steamified. Isn't that phenomenal? Come on now, let's give it up for these scholars. As we come on down, you'll see some QR codes. Feel free to scan away. All you got to do is open up your camera app, scan away. QR codes will take you directly to the YouTube link where these are unlisted video links. You can only access them with the QR code here at Liberty Tech. <clears throat> Coming on down, the Tin Man. This was phenomenal. You'll be able to see all the different stages of working with the steam, Miss Robinson, to get their project finished for exhibition night. So come on down to the Cowardly Lion. What they had to do is interpret the story through the eyes of the Cowardly Lion. And they had to describe a time in which they were brave and they had to use their courage. This is phenomenal. Make sure to check out the second grade writing here. Coming on down, last but not least, 
they had to learn from one another, the great and powerful Oz. So they actually did some interviews with some family members. QR codes, just open your camera app, scan the code, takes you directly to their interview. You'll be able to listen to it right through your mobile device. Make sure to check that out. Now, the yellow path diverges. You have two choices. Come check out the art display, wander a little bit off the beaten path, or coming on down to the third grade. So let's take a little, take a little look down the art display. As we come down, Ms. Murphy has taken the time to expose our students to some local artists. Um, you'll be able to hear all about them. They have some docents around this area. Make sure to talk to them about their artwork. As you can see, we even have some life-size Tin Man. Phenomenal work down this hallway. Blue Dog. Imagining the odds to the styles of different artists. Phenomenal work. Coming on down. They had Dr. Seuss on the hallway. Come on back down this way. Once you make your loop to the art display, you'll be coming through third grade. Third grade is about half of this hallway. So make sure that you talk to the docents about their different character analysis and their different designs of steam and how they steamified Oz with Miss Robinson as well. Let's come on down. They have an interactive word problem game. You'll be able to take some paper right from here and test your knowledge of word problems in Oz. So what they did was they actually had to create their own word problems based on characters and based on different scenes from the book. Fantastic work, Mavericks. Fan fantastic they also imagine what it would be like if they could ask oz for anything so what would they ask make sure to read through see what happens their own wizard of oz books are going to be on display feel free to pick up and read just don't walk off with them journey down the yellow brick road a little bit further now this starts fourth grade display fourth grade looked at the difference uh, the different storms that happened through the book. So they had to interpret the different storms that happened inside of Oz and compare them with different storms that have happened in their lives and different themes. So when storms come, I can be like, make sure to check out these quote bubbles. These quote bubbles are fantastic ways to find out exactly what the scholars learn most from their second trimester. On this side, you'll see this was a little bit of work between s several different specials classes. So they have um, their own quote from the book, and they reimagined it what it would look like through their eyes if their artwork was used inside of their novel. Amazing work. They look at tornadoes, what causes them, the destruction. There'll be a little display on right over here with some different docents. Feel free, talk with them about what they learned. Round the corner this time. Notice I'm still following the brick road. Fifth grade display. Make sure you check out fifth grade display. They look at different, the different um, literary analysis of Oz. So you'll hear a lot of hyperbole, a lot of symmetry, a little um, similes, as well as uh, some awesome science experiments that are going to go down live and in person. So make sure that you check out the fifth grade display. Several docents will be down here all night long talking about what's going on in the second trimester. <clears throat> Just coming on down into the cafeteria. A little behind the scenes look. PTO is getting it ready. Make sure to come through. Lots and lots of opportunities for pictures. Put yourselves right in the hot air balloon. Then come right on through somewhere over the rainbow. Round it down. Come right on through. Down back this way. We'll take you straight on through. Back to the Yellow Brick Road. Make sure whenever you get to this spot, check out or any display, you'll be able to see lots 
of our student actors that will be taking place in our Annie musical that will be on March 27th and 28th. Tickets will go on sale soon. Stay tuned to our Facebook page and website for more information. Okay, back on down. Make sure to check out our collaborative grades, their gallery of Oz. Absolutely fantastic. Take a few minutes. Check out their artwork. Check out their writing. Miss Langford will be here checking you out. Yes, get them, Jack. Take it on down. Middle school. Middle school did a fantastic job. Once we come through, we've got 6-7 writing of literature. They kind of looked at the historical approach of Oz. So make sure to read through their essays and really find out what they learned about the times of Oz. 7-8 history. They looked at cartography a lot like what our first graders did, but you'll see the transformation from second or first grade to eighth grade in terms not just under their artistic abilities, but their interpretation of Oz as well. It'll be a lot more detailed. They got different timelines of Oz. They really dove in. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's come on down. Our language arts. Six, seven, they did a lot of alternative endings and comparisons between the book and the movie versions. So make sure to take some time and check out their writing. Over here, seven, eight, literature, they looked at um, editing. That's what they spent their most of their second um, trimester really focusing on um, quality work. And so you'll be able to see how they go from um, comprehension all the way to their research, creating that rough draft, and then really editing down on that rough draft, get down to that final draft. So make sure to take some time, read their essays, read their work. Their character analysis, phenomenal, phenomenal work down this hallway. Then we get to the middle school commons. This is where you'll notice the yellow brick road. They just have it into the middle of the hallway for now. Feel free, you're more than welcome to go any direction inside this hallway. Science looked at the different parts of the different pieces of anatomy. We really spent some time looking at the cardiovascular system. Um, they di dissected worms. They went through and looked at brains. And then they looked at different tornadoes. And there will be several docents over here talking about the most powerful tornado in our history. So make sure to check out the science display. Let's come right on over to the 7-8 science and you will see everything about hot air balloons. This was a phenomenal project, absolutely awesome. So make sure to read through their analysis of what they learned. Let's come on down, six, seven, math. I'll come back through and show off these, these, this, uh, the displays here on the lockers after we show six, seven, math. So they put themselves in to Munchkin land they use different ratios that they talked about throughout the trimester to put themselves in Oz in terms of functions and ratios. Okay, let's check out those different works on top of the lockers. <clears throat> These are awesome works worked on by our Mavericks during project time. Remember this these projects are all about enhancing what they're already working on in their curriculum through the eyes and the lens of our classical model. Great work. Let's come right over here to these next set of lockers. This one worked on food pyramids. Coming on down, checking out the spiders and their with wouldn't you just love to live inside of this display right here it's come nestled up right next to this house i call this corner right here who's gonna be my neighbor got one more set of displays and then i'll show off seven eight math got winky country these are my peoples we guard everything Watch out now, you're gonna get winky-fied. Phenomenal work. 
seven, eight, they looked at ratio, uh, how reflections translate and reflect and they rotate. So make sure to check out their work. Several docents will be here explaining the reflection work. There's also another part of the 7-8 display that I'll show off in just a moment. <clears throat> this display they're working on, they took different ratios. They actually created, as you can see, they created Dorothy's house. There's your Dorothy. <laughs> we have... Um, they had their phase one, which was made out of uh, reinforced cardboard. After they made their phase one, they took their measurements, and then they translated those measurements over using the help of Mr. Willis as long as Miss Robinson to do all the cutting. Uh, we, the students actually made a real-life doghouse. Students will be here explaining their process, as well as this interactive panel will be um, showing various pictures of the staging, their entire design process. Now we're gonna follow this yellow brick road on out the building. You're gonna round the corner. In case you need to check out whether or not you got any lost and found items, there will be a lost and found station right here. So make sure to check out your lost and found. As we come on down, seven, eight math. Check out all of this amazing artwork. Stay in this area and listen to the docents speak about their artwork. And now, let me flip this camera around. This is how the tour will end. I hope you've enjoyed this live tour. Feel free to share this video out to the people that can't make it tonight. Um, it'll be available for as long as the interwebs are still on. I'll put it on, on to our YouTube page and we'll put it out there on social media in the coming weeks. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to this live tour. We hope to see you in just a little while. Remember, kindergarten kicks off at 515. We'll see you soon.